So you want to start a fishing YouTube channel? Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to go over a few essential items you're going to want to get started. A few things that I learned in the process of starting my own YouTube channel and some important things that you're going to want to know when it comes to starting your own fishing YouTube channel. So when it comes to starting a YouTube channel, one of the first things you're going to need to do is brainstorm some channel names. Honestly, this is probably one of the hardest parts of getting started on YouTube because it took me a good month to actually pick out my YouTube channel name. Make sure you choose a channel name that is related to the niche that you're going to be focusing on. Like my channel name is Buff Bass. That's because I like to do bass fishing and I love lifting weights. So, you know, Buff Bass. Another thing you're going to want to know when it comes to starting your own fishing YouTube channel is what niche you're gonna focus on. Are you gonna focus on bass fishing, walleye fishing, cat fishing, bottom fishing, fly fishing? You know, there's so many different things you can do when it comes to fishing, but it's a very good idea to pick one and kind of focus on it, especially in the beginning. And once your channel starts to grow, you can kind of branch out a little bit, do a little bit of everything. I started off with bottom fishing and bass fishing, but now I'm doing more ultralight fishing and just kind of fishing for whatever bites. If you're on the fence about starting your YouTube channel, one piece of advice I have for you is just do it. Just get started, create a channel, go out and record a video. I'm gonna be honest, your first videos are gonna suck. Mine definitely sucked. I mean, they could have been worse, but they definitely were not the best. If you go back and compare my old videos to the videos I'm making today, you'll see a huge difference, not only in production quality, but also editing, on-camera presence, all these different skills that you guys will learn when it comes to starting a YouTube channel. It all comes in time. And one of the main goals you should have for starting a channel is start recording videos, start publishing those videos, get 1% better every video that you guys upload, whether that's editing, camera presence, ideas, focusing more on B-roll, just try to get a little bit better at one certain area of your videos. When it comes to YouTube videos, you wanna make sure to throw some B-roll in because that's gonna split up the scene, make your video a little bit more interesting for the people watching. As opposed to me just being out fishing, I don't just have videos of me just casting and casting and casting, not catching any fish. I'll have videos of me catching fish, but then I'll also have B-roll mixed in with that, whether that's slow motion, cinematic shots, or just something like this. Starting a YouTube channel is no easy task, trust me. I started about six months ago and it is very overwhelming in the beginning, but once you get started and start learning the things you need to know and the fundamentals and all the skills that you're gonna need along the way, it becomes very fun to actually learn all these things you need to know to make a quality video. So now when it comes to equipment for a YouTube channel, especially when it comes to fishing, you're gonna want an action camera. The one that I'm using right here, I'm using an Insta360 X3 because it's a 360 camera, which is why I chose it. It's very versatile and you can do so many different things with it. So when it comes to action cameras, this is the one that I started off with. This is the GoPro Hero 9 Black and this is an amazing camera to get started with because it also has a front screen on it. So if you're doing any vlog style content like this, you can make sure you're framing your shot and make sure that you're getting your face actually in the video. And you can shoot slow motion content to get some good B-roll shots like I was saying earlier. So the GoPro is an excellent choice for getting some high quality content for your videos. Another thing that you're gonna want along with a GoPro is a mounting system. A lot of people use the chest mounts. I personally like this one right here. This is the GoPro hat clip, and I'll show you how this thing goes together really quick. The GoPro here has these mounting tabs at the bottom. Put it on there like this. Screw on the thumb screw. I like to mount my cameras on my hat because then everybody that watches my videos can see everywhere that I'm looking. So if I have a chest mount on here and I'm fishing and I see something over there and I look over there, nobody else is gonna see it because the chest mount is only facing forward. With the head mount, everybody's seeing what you're seeing. It might look a little bit ridiculous, but it works and it's not going anywhere. This is the GoPro Hero 9 Black. You can get any GoPro that you want and I'm currently using the Insta360 X3. And this is the GoPro hat clip, which is 
perfect for making fishing videos. And I'll make sure to drop links down in the description for all the stuff that I'm talking about and all the stuff that I'll be showing you guys in this video in case you want some more information on it or just want to check it out for yourself. So now when it comes to the GoPro, if you're going to be making fishing videos, you're probably going to be out fishing for a while. And one of these GoPro batteries records for about an hour or so. They're $20 a piece. I highly recommend you get one of these. This holds GoPro batteries and it also charges them because this is a power bank also. And usually by the time that I get back to that battery I put in here to charge, it's fully charged. You should get three GoPro batteries minimum if you're gonna be out filming for a while. Usually three batteries will last me for about an eight hour day of fishing. So you're good to go with this. You can just charge up this case here and you're good to go for a full day of fishing and filming. Another thing that you're gonna want is an SD card. This SD card here is 128 gigabytes, so you can record in 4K for about two and a half hours. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's two hours to two and a half hours. If you get this exact SD card right here, you will be good to go to create videos. You only need to record for about two and a half hours. So just to recap, a few of the things you're gonna want to get started on your fishing channel. You can always use a phone, but I highly recommend that you get an action camera because they aren't too expensive and you'll be able to make incredible videos with it. The second thing you're gonna want is extra batteries for your GoPro. The third thing you're gonna want is mounts for your GoPro. So that way you can put it on your hat, on your chest, on your backpack strap, wherever you want it. And the fourth thing that you're gonna need is an SD card preferably 128 gigabytes because then you'll be good to go to make a video. So now for when you're done filming and you wanna go and edit your video and get it good to go and post it on YouTube, you're gonna want one of these here. I am a mobile editor, so I do all of my editing on this guy here. I use an iPad to do my editing, believe it or not. The app that I use on the iPad is called LumaFusion. You can purchase it on the App Store for, I think, a one-time payment of $40. It's very simple and very easy to use, especially if you're a beginner and you've never done video editing before. And then you're gonna want one of these here. This is an SD card reader. You just stick your SD card in here and then you can plug it into your iPad or your iPhone just like this. Boom, and then you can transfer all of your files onto your phone or iPad. So I'll make sure to put all the stuff that I personally use down in the description in case you guys wanna check it out or learn more about the stuff that I personally use to make my YouTube videos. Now that we talked about the things that you're gonna need, let's go over some things that I learned along the way when it comes to starting my own personal YouTube channel and just getting started putting out content and growing my YouTube channel. Tip number one, you guys are gonna want to stay consistent when it comes to recording videos and getting them out. Don't record a video every few months and get it out. You wanna to try to make a video once a week and if you can't, it's not a big deal because as a fishing YouTuber, you can get skunked a lot and then that means you were out filming for eight hours that day or six hours or however long it is and you might only have a limited amount of time. You might be working a full-time job or whatever it may be. You can get skunked. You're not gonna have a video to upload. You're gonna to have to come up with another idea, whether you make a video like this one that I'm making, a tips video, you know, the best lures, the best fishing rods, best fishing reel, or even just review products you already have and already use. So that's tip number one. Stay consistent and try your best to get content out regularly. In the beginning, I started off filming one video a week and then I moved up to two videos a week because I was trying to grow my channel as fast as possible. But now I'm back down to one video a week because it's cold outside and fishing has gotten really, really rough. So this is the camera that I'm personally using right now for my videos. I just got it a couple days ago. It's the Insta360 X3. You can see there's a lens here on the back and there's also a lens here on the front so I can record video all around. Tip number two that I have for you guys, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to being on video and improving your camera presence. In the beginning, it's gonna feel very weird and very awkward, especially if there's people around. Just be yourself. Don't try to be somebody that you're not. So if you watch fishing YouTube videos, which you probably do if you wanna be a fishing YouTuber, don't try to be those people that you are watching. If you're not gonna be yourself in your videos, people can see through that. And that's gonna drive people away. People aren't gonna wanna subscribe to your channel. They're not gonna wanna watch your videos because they can see through when you're not being yourself. And you know what? I bet you're amazing. You don't need to be all crazy, super high energy on video. You don't need to be 
laughing all the time, cracking jokes, whatever it is. Just be yourself. So if you like cracking jokes, crack jokes. If you like to laugh, laugh. If you like to be quiet, just be quiet and go fishing. There's an audience out there on YouTube that's gonna love your content no matter who you are and no matter what your personality is. So that's tip number two. Be yourself and have fun with it because you know what if you want to turn this into a full-time thing you need to have fun with it you don't want to burn out if you want to turn youtube into a full-time career you're gonna to need to take it seriously so like i said you're gonna to want to consistently upload videos you're gonna to want to be yourself and you're also gonna to want to find out different ways to monetize your channel because believe it or not you do not make a lot from YouTube AdSense. When it comes to advertisements on your videos, you're not gonna make a lot at all unless if you're getting millions of views. You can do affiliate marketing, get sponsored, get brand deals. There's so many different things you can do, but I'm not gonna talk about that stuff because I personally do not know a lot about that stuff yet as I just started my channel six months ago. And my last piece of advice for you guys is don't listen to the haters. There's gonna be people that tell you you can't do it. There's gonna be people that don't believe in you, but as long as you believe in yourself and you keep on going and keep on putting out content, getting better every day, every video that you upload, you will see success on YouTube. I started off at zero subscribers, and today I'm at 4,100 subscribers six months later, which is absolutely just crazy. And if you are one of my subscribers watching this video, Thank you so much for supporting the channel and sticking with me on this journey. It's been a crazy one. We've done a lot of fishing this year and we've went on so many crazy adventures and we've caught a lot of big fish. So like I said, a lot of the stuff that I talked about today in this video, I'll make sure to drop links down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself or just learn more about it. And if you do like watching fishing videos on YouTube, consider subscribing and becoming a part of the community because I post a video once a week. At least I try to. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.